you everyone this is dr anju choudhury i am an airway surgeon attached to srcc children's hospital managed by narayan rudyale i would like to talk to you about airway surgery so what is human airway the human airway starts from the nose goes behind in the back of the throat and then into the voice box and then down in the form of a pipe it goes into the chest it divides into two parts and supplies air to the lungs so any obstruction any swelling or any foreign body in the whole passage can result in difficulty in breathing to these kind of children uh, they will present with certain kinds of noise like uh, breathing difficulties in the form of sounds like these <gasps> or sometimes snoring sounds or sometimes uh, sounds blowing through a nam- narrow air pipe or sometimes when these secretions go into the wind pipe instead of the food pipe they will present with bubbling sounds like this <laughs> to explain more about this i would like to show certain videos in the fo- which will help you understand how these children present to us like we hear in this video this child has a low pitched snoring sound which happens only during sleep we do a small endoscopy which the scope passes through the nose and we see that there is enlargement of adenoid tissue which is a type of tonsillar tissue which is present behind the nose the swelling of this part results in this kind of snoring sound the child is absolutely okay during the day but has this kind of breathing problem in the night <coughs> This child has breathing difficulty on climbing, running, doing routine activities and even while sleeping. As seen in this video, this child has this kind of sound when he breathes deeply inside. This is because he has a condition called bilateral vocal cord paralysis. That is the vocal cord or the two cords which form the voice box. They do not open up completely when he breathes in. This is a 15 year old boy who sustained head injury while playing and he had to be intubated for some time. Uh, after he got well out of the ICU, he developed a swelling in his windpipe lower down. Uh, after few weeks, he presented like this with a sharp sound on inhaling and exhaling and he has difficulty even while talking. His airway is very narrow. This child was born with a birth defect in which the vocal cords and the windpipe do not open up completely and they are fused together. This is called a congenital laryngeal web. So he had difficulty immediately after birth and he had to be tracheostomized. Tracheostomy is a tube which is passed into the neck by a small operation and it bypasses the upper airway obstruction. So to remove these kind of tubes, it requires a very complex major multi-stage surgery to restore the child's normal airway and uh, voice. So in our department of airway surgery, we see these kind of children regularly. We diagnose them with a small endoscope passing through the nose going behind the uh, into the vocal cord inside the chest. We diagnose their problems and formulate a plan and by various surgical interventions uh, and complex surgeries, we open up the airway and restore their voices back to normal. Uh, with the help of early diagnosis and prompt and appropriate treatment of these conditions, these families and these children can return back to their normal life. Thank you.